Hello there and welcome to another video. I want to show you today how I use the ICOM ICR 8600 to scan the entire civil airband between 118 and 137 megahertz and a step rate of 8.33 kilohertz in approximately two seconds so first of all I'll show you how fast the ICOM can scan between these two frequencies at the step rate of 8.33 kilohertz so if I start it from the beginning starts at 118 that's what it's programmed to do and finish at 137 it will scan between those two frequencies in approximately 23 seconds now if you want to utilize the SDR side of the ICOM you can use software such as SDR Sharp and you'll be able to scan uh, the, the same uh, upper and lower frequency of 118 to 137 in approximately two seconds okay so I'll show you here I've got um, SDR sharp having a little problem with the focus there we are that's a bit better so I'll show you that I have um, civil airband really having a problem with the focus today guys so I do apologize I don't know why there we are okay edit scan range so you'll see there I program civil airband uh, 118 118 up to 137 megahertz on AM I set the bandwidth of uh, 6000 and the step size of 8.33 kilohertz okay so uh, just click on configure everything in there is all okay I'm going to leave the show debug info check because there's some information that I want to show you when I click on start now when I click on uh, scan what's going to happen uh, right at the bottom of the screen you'll see blocks being built up blocks of about four or five and each block will be approximately 4.61 megahertz so let's click on start we'll start the SDR software and now if we click on uh, scan there we are just in case you missed it I'll stop the scan and I'll start it again and I if you pay attention to the bottom of the screen you'll see the blocks being built up so we have uh, five blocks of 4.61 megahertz and a speed of 7.5 megahertz 7.6 it is now scanning the entire civil airband in approximately two seconds you can see that it starts at 118 up to 137 and to show you on the icon it's doing exactly the same thing now also you have some frequencies that I've previously found which I'll, uh, I'll clear those off and any transmissions that will be found 
will show up uh, in, in that box in there. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be much activity right now. Would be nice to show you what happens when it finds an active transmission. Maybe I'll do another video of transmissions being picked up. But basically what happens is when it finds a frequency it will be uh, displayed in there. It, it will tell you the activity time, so how long the frequency was active for and tells you what frequency it was. Now if I click on uh, stop scan and click on military edit scan range the military I I tried a test of 250 megahertz to 350 on AM bandwidth uh, 6000 at a step rate of 25 kilohertz. So let's try the military and we'll click on scan. Really having a problem with the autofocus today for some reason. You can see there at the bottom of the screen how it built up all the blocks. So it built up, um, there we are. 22 blocks. Each block is 4.61 megahertz. I believe it took 13 seconds to do that. Maybe. At a speed of 7.5 megahertz. So you can see there. It's scanning a huge portion of the radio spectrum in probably about 6 or 7 seconds. Again, I'll show you the icon. That's doing exactly the same thing. Unfortunately, it's not picking up any activity. So I'm going to stop that scan. I'll go back to the civil air band. And we'll try scanning again. Just to see if it does pick up any transmissions nope and I'm kind of disappointed really uh, when I'm making this video I can't demonstrate what happens when it does find an active frequency but there we go can't win them all. One thing I will say with the uh, SDR Sharp software, if you can see, it's the version uh, 1.0.0.1732. This, I believe, is the only version which will work. Uh, with the frequency scanner and also um, if I uh, just stop the scan and if I click on the configure source and if I minimize you'll probably be familiar with this here this is the ICOM ICR 8600 IQ settings window and that is the uh, EXT IO file uh, it's a DLL file, a dynamic link library file. This, I believe, does not work with um, versions of SDR which are above 1732. I think the latest version is about 1.88 something. 
I don't believe it works. I did try it. I couldn't get it to work. What you need to do is to click on source, UHD, and it'll ask you for the dynamic link library file, which is the EXTIO for the ICOM ICR8600. I believe the software developers, the coders, writers, whatever they're called, they've removed it. So it is version 1732 that only works and it does work really well. But unfortunately I can't demonstrate it working because there's no transmissions. I'll just give it one more try. We'll click on scan. We'll leave it run for maybe 10 or 15 seconds just to see if there is any um, active transmissions out there. Nope. Well, I'll um, leave it at that for today. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.